as it relates to your health, our zip code is more important than your genetic code. So John, you live in Boston. It's fairly affluent. Uh, it has its pockets, but it's fairly affluent and uh, uh, you know, in a progressive city with a universal health care. Uh, are the people of Boston healthier today than they were in 2009? Let, let's start there. Are the people in Boston healthier today than they were in 2009? It's a very complex question. <laughs> yeah. and so let, let me give you a preamble and an answer it directly. So, you know, I've been a vegan for 25 years. And so I eat nothing but plants, right? And so, no, I don't eat eggs. No, I don't eat fish. Those aren't plants. Uh, and so what does that mean because I'm a vegan? Well, it means my cholesterol is 72, my blood pressure is 110 over 70, and my body mass index is 21. And everyone says, you're going to live to 100, but why would you want to? Uh, but so, of course, shouldn't it be rational that you should go to your insurance company and say, insurance company? I get a safe driving discount for getting no tickets. How about a safe eating discount for, for being vegan? And the insurance company says, um, that'd be no. <laughs> and in fact, what we need is people like you to fund all the people who are eating fast foods every day. So thanks. And so we haven't in this country had an alignment of incentives to change some of the lifestyle issues that you mentioned, and whether that's zip code or what you eat or how you act. But what's changing? And why do I actually think things are getting better in Boston? So not only, yes, we have this universal healthcare coverage so that there's a penalty if you don't have insurance, that's good. But what we're seeing is the move to value-based purchasing, the move to risk contracts with both upside and downside, is so extensive in Boston that today, September 2018, 80% of the reimbursement of Beth Israel Deaconess Services is risk contract or value-based. So what does that imply? Well, that implies we better have an ACO that's looking at social determinants of health, right? If you are living alone and you don't have access to the right food, the right transportation, or an air conditioner, you're gonna be a high cost utilizer. So we actually need case managers and care navigators and visiting nurses to deliver care in your home to you that keeps you healthy because we are now at risk for your wellness. And so I spent seven million last year on just building out all the infrastructure necessary for that care management, care navigation, visiting home nurse service to keep people healthier in their homes. Incentives have changed, and therefore our business has changed. 